Hey folks, it's Nick from Imagine Children's Museum, and I have a question about birds. Have you ever noticed how many different kinds of beaks birds have? Some birds have really long and thin beaks. Some birds have beaks that are short and round. Some birds have beaks that are curved. Some beaks are flat. Why do they have so many different kinds of beaks? We've got a little exploration today that's going to help us figure that out and it's going to use some tools that you might have at home. So if you have some of these tools, you can try this for yourself. Let's start with this flask full of water and let's just say that we would like to get a little bit of water out of this flask. Take a look at these tools. Which one do you think would be the best tool to help us get that water. I think that we should try using this pipette. We can put it in the water and we can squeeze and let go and look at that. I have just pulled out a nice helping of water. I can go back and I can do that as many times as I would like. And that pipette helps us to get the water because it's really long and thin. And what does this have to do with birds? Well, there are some birds like this hummingbird that like to drink nectar. It is their food source, it is their diet. And so in order to get to that nectar at the center of flowers, they are going to use a really long, thin beak to be able to probe the center of that flower and find that sweet, sweet nectar. Now, Imagine that you are not a hummingbird. Now imagine you are a pelican, a great big pelican living by the sea. You have no interest at all in nectar. Your diet is fish. You are very excited to eat some fish and you need to scoop them out of the ocean. Take another look at those tools and tell me which tool you would use to scoop up some fish. My choice would be this spoon right here, which I could come right in and scoop up some of those pieces and have myself a delicious lunch. That pelican that is looking for that fish in the ocean and swoops down to pick them up, that pelican is going to use its beak that is really long and has a nice big pouch built into it that's going to hold on as it catches more and more of those animals. Now, let's say for a minute that you are a different kind of bird. Let's say you're a warbler and you're interested in these delicious looking caterpillars on this log. What tool do you think you would use to pick up those caterpillars. A warbler's beak is slim and it's pointed and that's a lot like these tweezers which I can use to get a couple of caterpillars. I can pick up a few at once. These tweezers are really good tools much like that warbler's beak. Now did you know there are some birds that actually find their food in the air and can catch it as they are flying through the air? This tree swallow catches insects as it flies through the air. Take a look at its beak. Do you think its beak would be good at catching insects? These are the model insects we're going to use. And if we have these flying through the air, which tool do you think you would use to try and catch them? This net would make an excellent choice for catching those mid insects in midair. Let's see if we can do it. We got some. Just like that swallow is able to catch those insects. So the next time you're out bird watching, take a look at the bird's beaks 
and see if you can make a guess about what that bird's diet might be based on the size and shape of its beak. Thanks for playing with us today.